Okay. Uh, the uh, meeting of the HDRB will come to order. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with new business 12 North Avenue. Uh, Madeline Sanchez. Yes. I'm Tell here. us what you what you're proposing to do. Sure. Good to see you all again. I'm Madeline Sanchez. I'm presenting this project on behalf of Megan Harding and Ben Chia. Ben Chia is present in person. And they lived at 12 Morris Avenue for seven years. I'll share my screen. Oh, host disabled participant screen sharing. Hold on. Oh, okay. okay. Now it's working. Thank you. Okay. So 12 Morris Avenue is on the east side of Morris Avenue between Craigside Drive and Main Street. It's in a part of Cold Spring where the homes and lots are relatively large and the front lawns are fairly deep. Um, this is the streetscape and this is 12 Morris Avenue. This is their driveway on the north side. The house was built in 1870. It's in the second empire Victorian style and its claim to fame is that it was featured in the movie Hello Dolly with Gene Kelly standing right in front on the front steps. <laughs> so um, so the, the neighbors, this is the Butterfield Library to the south and the house to the north. And these are the neighbors across the street. So I'll start with the areas of work as you can see them from the public way. Um, the project's program is to finish the existing basement and to provide additional living space for the boys um, their sons. And so this necessitates some work to the windows. The existing windows in the basement don't open and they would like to ventilate the finished basement. So we need to um, replace the windows, but also there's, there are two windows that need to be enlarged slightly to um, accommodate the egress requirements. So this is the front of the house. And there are two windows in the basement that face the front. They're underneath the existing porch. The porch is about nine feet deep in that area. And there's lattice and bushes. I mean, I know you don't count bushes, but um, there's lattice there. So behind that are two windows that look like this. And um, we need to lower the sill of these windows to make them um, egress compliant. The plan is to keep the existing masonry um, and keep that arch and, and keep everything else. They are also going to get a tiny bit wider by two inches. The other windows that you can see from the public way are on the north side. This is standing at the corner of the driveway and the sidewalk. So these are these two basement windows that will be replaced with the same size. This is the entrance to the existing basement, which is basically down a flight of steps um, from an existing bulkhead. You don't see the entrance from the right of way, but I'm happy to provide information about the door that we will be um, replacing. So this is, this is the uh, bottom of that bulkhead area way down the flight of steps. And we're gonna be replacing this door and actually recessing the new door um, so you'll actually see it even less from the public way. So this is a view of it um, further into their property. So from the south elevation, um, there are these three windows on the underneath the bay window that are in the basement that we will be replacing with the same size and same type. Um, and you can see those from the from Morris Avenue. I wanted to mention that the owner over the many years has painstakingly and carefully restored this special home um, and they have repaired um, deteriorating details and the front porch had a makeover um, and they intend to do the same with this project and do it, um, do it right and do it carefully and they want to minimize the impact on the existing house. 
So I'll go to the drawings now. So this is the drawing of the existing unfinished basement. This is the front of the house, Morris Avenue, and this is the north, that's that driveway. So this is the area under the porch where we will be replacing these two windows. And then these are current double hung windows. This is another double hung window that faces the front, but it's underneath the stairs, so you don't see it from the front. This is that bay window, the three windows that we'll be replacing there. And then on the north side, those two windows that are along the driveway, that's that flight of steps that goes down with the door that we will be removing and replacing there. This is the first floor, but we're not doing any work that involves the first floor. I mean, we are doing work on the first floor, but it's not visible from the exterior. That's what I meant. Um, so this is the front elevation of the house with those two windows behind the lattice. The proposed plan, this will be a living room with two bedrooms um, and a new bathroom and a study alcove um, for the teenage boys. So these are the two windows that need to get replaced because they, you need one window egress from each bedroom. Um, and the sill will be lowered to 38 inches. The current windows are 34 by 42, and the new windows will be 36 by 54. They will be casement windows because if it needed, if, if, if we were to do a double hung, it would have to be very large. Um, so that's how we solve that problem. These window type B are the new awning units that will go into the existing basement. And then Type D will be a double hung to replace a double hung, and type C will be awning units to replace the existing awning. So the only type that we're changing is the one from the bedroom, and that's we need to do that for safety and egress. This is where that door is being pushed in to create sort of a little outdoor vestibule, um, and so the door will be set back. It's the second floor. Um, this is the drawing that shows the new size of the windows behind the lattice. And even though they're casement windows, we are going to introduce a horizontal um, bar to simulate the parting rail. This is what we uh, use to arrive at the size of the new window. This is from the inside. Um, so the sill has to be 44 inches. We're making this 38. Um, just to introduce a little bit more light into those bedrooms. And then that's the new size of the window with the horizontal bar. And um, the space under the porch is five foot six, which exceeds code for escaping out from under a porch. This is the north elevation from the driveway. Those are those two type B windows awning units. And this is the um, door. On the south elevation, three awning units underneath the bay window. So the, this is the window schedule. Um, we chose weather shield, aluminum clad wood windows, the signature series. The signature series is their most classic and uh, historical um, line. And we chose the aluminum clad windows for maintenance reasons. There's a lot of splash onto the existing windows and they've really deteriorated as a result of that. So um, Ben has a sample window uh, with him. If, if you wanted to show it, um, these are the cuts, signature series casement, awning, double hung, and then these are the details. I think that's all in your packet. Um, I do have information about that door if you want that also. So, um, you know, we feel that the changes that are being made are fairly subtle um, and um, are, we're doing them for, you know, safety and ventilation and egress. So, Ben, do you have the window there? Did you want to show them the weather shield? This is a double hung clad window. You know, pass it around, touch it. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice window. 
Good. I have one question just right off the bat. So is yeah. the, um, on the primary facade, is the lattice remaining intact? Yes. Okay. All right, anybody have any other questions? No. I mean, I think oh, it's, it's there are, I wish more people paid attention to their basement windows in this world. I hope this is saying are an issue. We're on a hill. I hope this is setting a good precedent yeah. <laughs> for other people to consider their windows well, in their basement. It's always beautifully organized. So uh, and and everything is nicely presented. Yeah. Uh, I had a question as far as the egress windows, but you know, Lance said it during the course of the presentation. I, I have no other questions. Uh, how about you? Uh, no, no questions. No, no questions. All in order. All right. Do I have a motion concerning the application? I'll make a motion to approve the application as submitted. Can you hear a second? I will second. All right. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 You got it, Madeline. Thank all you. Right. Thank you so no public hearing. If you would like a public no, hearing. No, no, no. I just wanted to confirm that. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, no, I, I, it's everything is complete, thorough. Looks good. Very exciting. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Okay, so I'll, Al, you'll send me the. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this weekend I'll uh, issue a certificate of appropriateness. All right. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. Okay. So that was 12 more. Uh, 173 Main Street. <laughs> So I come up here or Please join us. have a seat. Yeah. Tell us what you want to do. My name is Eric Ward and I own the house at 173 Main Street. Mm -hmm. That's the orange house between the church, St. Mary's Lawn, and Joseph's Jewelry. Um, the project is to replace the roofing on the back of the house. This house has a traditional form in that the main the main part of the building is two and a half stories. And in the back, there's an extension, a one story extension. It's always been a utility space in the back. Currently, it has the kitchen and there's the pool of tubs and the original, um, the original outhouse. Um, so, basically, two rooms, two one story rooms in the back. Um, and so, replacing the roofing just on, the, on that back portion. It's a low slope roof. Um, under three and 12, um, maybe it's around two and 12, it varies. Um, so um, I no, believe- it, This is back, right? Yes, exactly. Those two, the two, the two low roofs you see there. And there's a cupola in the middle of the middle, in the middle of the um, first roof, mm -hmm. uh, right in the middle, um, and that's over the kitchen. It's got um, the, the the roofing on the cupola currently is three tab shingles, the cheap flat kind of shingle. And the rest of the low slope roofs are corrugated metal, are kind of a shed roofing, not usually seen on houses, uh, a substandard kind of roof. This is all done by the previous owner. Um, so um, given the, the low slope, I've decided to go with um, SBS modified bitumen roofing which is a um, asphalt-based product, comes in a roll. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a granul granular coating on top, comes in a variety of colors. And then I, I would get matching shingles for the cupola. And the thing was with the architectural shingles, which are the um, standard kind of house shingles. Um, mm -hmm. They have more depth to them, more texture than the three tab. My, in my application, I neglected to include a catalog cut of those shingles, so I brought no, thank you. If the, um, and this will be for the actual roof of the cupola? Exactly, yeah. And then what about like its little um, stage? 
that it's on. <laughs> What's that material? I think you're, I think that's what you're looking at is a copper. There's a, yeah, oh, that's a, copper. A okay. Amount of copper flashing. Um, okay. They're flat at the roof level and then built up around the chimney. So that's all copper, which will stay. That will stay in place. Mm -hmm. So basically, just everything that we see here, that's the corrugated metal, will be replaced with the. Yes, yeah. um, that will be. I'm the, sorry, with the uh, other one. Yeah, yes, the, the, this one. <laughs> the Liberty, Union at Liberty. Um, and um, the there will be drip edges on all the sides, which will be made of copper. And the drip edges are about the only thing that's visible to the public of, of the flat roof. Um, you, you can't see the surface of that of those mm -hmm. two flat roofs at all from anywhere, um, but you can see the edges. And I, so I, I wanted to make those qual uh, of a quality that other other details on the exterior are top of the gutters and so on. So I wanted to fit into that. Uh, the public can see the, cup the roof of the cupola mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. St. Mary's lawn um, and from 90 in the distance. You can see you can see the cupola. Anybody have any questions? No, it's really straightforward. The drip edge, actual copper or copper color? It's actual copper. Yeah, you know, I think it's sort of a totally appropriate kind of lateral move, as Eric said, like that, that corrugated metal mm -hmm. probably shouldn't have been used in the first place. Yeah, I'll probably <laughs> so, <change. laughs> move the moisture gets in there. For, uh, certainly it's for a residential space. Uh, should have three on twelve, so uh, um, yeah, I don't have any problem with this uh, with the shift to this more stable material. Yeah, I had to put this material on like a small portion of roof that like really cannot see from anywhere. I actually look over my bedroom and it's fine. It's just loud. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I think it's the least ugly of, of these choices for a low slope yeah. roof. At least you can get any colors, which yeah. Yeah. rubber so-called rubber roofs are just they're just black. Yeah. Yeah, this I, I think this is the same stuff I use and it just kind of like faded and it's really innocuous. Right. So yeah. Well, I have most concerning the application. I will move to um accept the application as submitted. Do I have a second? Thank you for all of these details. Because we're excited when plots are Can you uh, email the village the um, Which is that last the spot? Yeah. Yes. Because I want to incorporate it into the, the certificate of appropriation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Last but not least, 17 Parrot Street. Hello. Oh, sorry to scare everyone. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah, my wife's out of town, so I had to be home for the dog tonight. And my camera's broken on my laptop, so I'm really just hearing voice. <laughs> We're really taking your word for it that it's actually you. <laughs> okay, disembodied voice. Talk to us. Do, ma do many people get uh, building permits approved anonymously as other people? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is yeah. I, I couldn't give you better shots of my roof because it's my house is high and I just <laughs> I just took a picture of saying there's my roof. Yeah, but it's What's, old. It's old three tab shingles that are you know beginning to show their wear and tear and okay. couple of leaks. Okay, why don't you go ahead and describe what we're 
what so basically, basically I, I want to have the entire roof removed um you know any repairs done that they find when when they do that <clears throat> and uh reflash the chimney and copper um all the valleys currently are woven so i would i would like to just keep it that way um and obviously they're gonna not that you care about the ice and water shield but they will be doing it with ice and water shield and synthetic underlayment and all that proper stuff that's about it uh eight, eight the um timberline hdz so it's more of a high definition shingle i hadn't finalized the color but i was either the pewter gray or the charcoal so something very close to what i have today okay and uh this is on the back of the house the, the entire house oh oh the entire house okay yes yeah it's a it's a big project okay so uh because I'm looking at the drawings and it seems like it's only in the back. This Sorry. That's the next application. Yeah. I pulled the wrong one here. I was looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> Never this, mind. This is photo and this photo. Catalog. Is this yeah. front gate? Is it this these gables too? Or is it the whole Yeah, every, every, the entire house, yep. And the garage. Okay. Yeah. Those gables were an addition 20, 20 years ago, I think. To the house. Cool. Anybody have uh, questions? <laughs> I have no questions. All I have no questions. Yeah, like, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Do I have a motion concerning this uh, application? Sean, you're on a roll. Uh, I yeah. would make a motion to accept the application as submitted. All right. Lloyd, do I have a second? Yes. Your turn. <laughs> Wonderful. You do. All, All the favors right. say aye. 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 Two. I think one more. Dan, you got it. All right. Thank you, everybody. What have a good have, have a good evening. No, it's just oh, well, that's terrible. But does you have is your does your go flat all the way back or does it have a pitch in it? No, we did have a very slight yeah. Um and then there's the dormer two two dormers in the front and two in the back. Hmm. Mm. Because the little side that's like our living room and my bedroom was added on apparently with the bay mm -hmm. in the living room that was added on apparently like 20 or 30 years after the main house. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Okay. Um, um, I thought we... Irene was going to be joining us. She's next. She's our workshop. She's our workshop, but we can. But she's not here right now. Right? She's not here right now. But we okay, have... so let's go on to the other administrative stuff. We have minutes to vote on. Okay, but first let's let's okay. do <laughs> what everybody is eagerly awaiting. We have these uh, historic district design standards. Mm -hmm. um, no. No. <laughs> so, um, am I correct that this is all what we have? Reviewed several times before, and we have come to a conclusion. Uh, are there two? What are the two copies for? So, I was proposing that we adopt the line guidelines okay. and then we separately adopt the resource guides. Um, so, let's do that. Because I have a comment about the resource guide. So the same cover, but the different. Oh, one just one the resource. resource. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so I will make a motion <laughs> to accept the main body of the historic district design standards. Okay. Is there any discussion? Do you have any comments? Pages one through thirty-two. I guess the the only question I have is this. It seems like this is a kind of a yeah. Me too. Wow. Well, oh, bad resolution uh, or maybe bad resolution for printing. Which page? We have uh, we page. do have the high res version of that. So I'll make a motion to accept the design guidelines as modified with request that the photo on page 32 be updated with a high res page. I will second that. All right. Any discussions, pros, cons? Okay. Only proud. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, for the record, get out of here. <laughs> Andrea, 
your vote. We'll, we'll do a vote. We're doing a roll call vote. Roll call Ooh, vote. Because this, okay. is, this, is, this is important. So I get to do that. <laughs> well, really it's really important. Did you call the roll? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I get to do that. All right, Todd. Aye. Oh, I said aye. Okay. Well, aye. Todd? Aye. And I say aye. Yeah. Uh, unanimously. Can you imagine if it wasn't? Yes. Yeah. So as for the resource guides, I was away all weekend, so I didn't actually see the things that were being emailed around, but I did realize <laughs> today uh, or yesterday that there were, she um, didn't remove the last pages from it. So it's only complete up to page 21. And then from 22 on, that's the draft that needs to be edited. So I will make a motion to accept the uh, resource guides one, two, three, and four. Except four is on 22. No, it's just the same title over. Four is the glossary, and then she yeah. just carried that. So it's pages one through 21 of the document. Mm -hmm as modified um, so pending you know so basically just with, with we are just going to remove the incomplete draft um resource guides that are uh not done so um, that's uh um, yeah resource guide one two and three one two three and four four is complete everything from page 22 onward is draft that is in the okay. point. Hang in here for this second. Oh, I'm second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm seconding. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the document. For so starting with resource guide four. Um, no. Sorry. I know starting with resource guide four is draft. No, no. resource guide four is complete. Starting with page 22 of the draft, which is resource guide five. I'm not sure okay, well, where the, these, this is a bit. Well, I've got, I think 24 is 24. resource. I know, but these two pages are also not part of it. These are, this is part of color. Okay. Um, so research guide four mm -hmm. ends on page 21 with the bibliography for the glossary of common architectural crimes. Okay, and now um, acknowledgements, isn't this part of the uh, this, the standard, the, this acknowledging? Yeah. yeah, that's just that page is just copied and right. so, that, so that's, that should be pulled. Cool. Then we have the resource guides. Right. Um, so our, our goal was to have the resource guides approved as individual documents, right. freestanding documents. When she sent it to us, she included them with the cover and the acknowledgments and the uh, table of contents in the document, but they are not, part of it. they don't do part of it. Okay. So uh, we'll have resource guide individually. and uh as I, I think you mentioned in your email which i thought was a good idea we, on the resource guides we can put the uh page numbers and uh where we're you know when we get, get to wherever we stop the rest of them are to be issued right. just so i was suggesting that we remove all of the page numbers entirely from the resource guides because they are not they are not meant to be read chronologically. I mean, they can be used interchangeably. So whether the A to Z, their page numbers are irrelevant to the glossary. Does that make sense? Well, I, I think that uh, usually page numbers help because a lot of this is just uh, text. And if you want to refer to something, you know, at least you have the, the page numbers gives you an idea of where it is. 
Okay. And it doesn't have to be sequential. You know, it, it could be each resource guide starts its own numbering system. Yeah, that's fine. That'd be fine. Sure, it could be Roman numeral one dash yeah. one. Right, right. That sounds good. You know. And we could take five through six, eight out of the, or we could just, we should say, become or whatever, what we did. Uh, yeah. Did we do on, didn't we do that on something else? Uh, yeah. We did on the main. Mm -hmm. we, you would mark up some of them to say you come. Well, we could do that with five through. Okay, so right. where where are you proposing we stop as far as I am proposing that we stop after page after the end of the glossary, which in this document is on page twenty one. No, I have it on page twenty three. No, it's just the titles wrong at the top. It's just the okay. titles wrong. The last thing in the glossary is vernacular architecture, followed by two citations. After that, it is all draft language that needs to be further worked. All right. So then this is another resource. Yeah, that'll have a different type. This It'll is have all part of the painting section. Okay. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure how it ends up in this order, but yeah, no, too, okay. Like yeah. With Page numbers as you were proposing, yeah. Uh, just so that it, you know we can keep track of it. And uh, obviously, the uh, the glossary. Um, yeah. So this is paint, actually. Right. And this is also pain. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. So, so, so this the, the, these two are actually five. Yeah. Okay. So uh do I have a motion to accept? Uh, resource guides one, two, three, and four. Yes, with the page numbers removed. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, with page numbers renumbered right. to, and, uh, uh, individually. And entered in the. Uh, and put on the. Right. Put on the. Put yeah. the and then we'll put the comment. I will make that motion. I will make that entire motion. <laughs> well, I have a second. I'll second. Okay. Uh, once again. Lloyd? Aye. Andrea? Aye. John? Aye. John? Aye. And I vote aye. Great. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Just uh, if I remember correctly, I think I had agreed to do the paint and I haven't done it yet. So. Agreed to what? He's, He's already moving on to the next. Yeah, I'm moving on to the next resource guide. So, oh, hang on, yes. I'll be here when it's ready to be in motion. <laughs> um, paint, masonry, and uh, go resources. Actually, it's, it's really not that much. No, it's just more. Editing. It's yeah. just editing. Right. But we're not calling it. I know. Let's go ahead and get what we've got done. It's all public domain except for I think the two people who are accredited, which is the um mm -hmm. history and Mark Bowles oh, as a board. member of yeah. the advisory board. Okay. Um I guess the only other question is that and Karen, that maybe this is for you. Um electronic version thereof so i think what we're going to need to do is get the um we'll have the these updates sent back to us by kirsten and 
divided into the four separate documents plus the main body, mm. just as PDFs. And okay. then we can remove the existing, currently our guidelines are just as a single PDF. So right. I just remove that and replace it with these options. It'll just have to have some kind of like a little splash page like we do for the current applications page. If we can just replicate yeah, well, that. I think if you, it, it depends on how you want to do it. If you just want to replace the what's on there now, which is design standards, and put the new one of that in. Mm. Um, but it'll just be a couple of PDFs. So we'll just have to have like a left of a page you can go to to then just select the four PDF. Well, it's it should be right. It's right on your main page for HDRB. Right. It has design standards. So whatever is in there can come out mm -hmm. and we can rename it you know 2023 well however you want to do it right and then it's up to you how you want to do the the um resource do you want to have a separate thing for that or have um, it all in one i think we just want to have them i think we want to have a if you go to the design guideline it brings you to a page with links to the main the body book. and each of the individual resource guides just so you're not Constantly downloading the entire thing at once. If you just need to go somewhere. Well, once you finalize it, send it to me and Jeff, yeah. and we'll figure out how to get it on the website. Perfect. And you may want to, you know, I don't know. You could do a news and announcement. Uh, you know, new design guide. You know, you can fashion something that's kind of like an announcement that they're okay, available release. on the website. <laughs> well, we will need to for the short term. Any applications that we have already received will have to be reviewed under the old design guidelines. But anything that we receive from this point forward will be under the new design guidelines. That will affect like four very specific material changes that we've removed from the new ones. And I'm not even going to say what they are allowed because people have to do their own research. So um, yeah, so for the short term, we'll just have to refer to both of them. But I think as of now, all of our open applications we've received and reviewed. I don't think we're going to do that. Um, can we look at these minutes as well? Mm -hmm. Let's do let's do minutes. Um, I, the minutes from the fourth are just uh, Al, Andrea, and myself. Yeah. Um, uh, from sorry, from April fourth. The only note that I had um, is in the. Second to last paragraph on the first page. Um, it just is missing a word. It's just like us Conway noted that a portion of the conduit will not be visible from the public right of way. Otherwise, I had no notes. Where's that Um at the bottom in board last, comment. Yeah, you know, last sentence. The last sentence in the second to last paragraph. Oh, okay. There is. Oh. So I'll make a motion to accept the minutes from people. You said she had no correction. No, I have no correction. Okay, how about Lloyd? Like I wasn't uh, okay. Yes. Yes. okay. There, there, there that's the case. I will make a motion to accept the minutes from uh, April 4th as modified. Do I have a second? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. okay, and then for the May minutes, I uh, can't vote on those because I was not here. So the words was May 2nd. The bottom, um, I was not absent. The last line says S. Conway. And then T. Secret are absent, but I was there. Who was absent? Lloyd and Sean. Just yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, I still haven't gotten uh, the revised drawing from Oprah's uh, architect. Huh. At the chimney? Yeah. Oh. Huh. 
Um, well, perhaps we should. Uh, I'm not worried about it. I mean, it says if he wants it, then all he's got to do is give me another. Oh, you haven't issued the, the COA either? No. Oh, okay. I'm sure he's probably forgotten about that. Probably. Um, I can send him a memo. Mm -hmm. Were you talking to Luke directly or to Joe? Luke. Joe was yeah. not there. I think it was. Do you have Joe's email? Yeah, we I have Joe's email before. I do too. Uh, I'm writing neutral. Well, it's Emily Marsh on page four. I don't really know what because speech. Really? I don't know she's her. Garrison, yeah. Do you know her? No, I know. Um, Patrick, I used to, Patrick's uh, mother used to be my land. Oh, is he from around here? Yeah, he went to the comic. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Emily's from Garrison. Um, yep. Yeah, a while. <laughs> that was a long meeting. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, as far as all of the architectural terms. Thank you. Jerry. Thank you. Lily. He has beautiful. I want to look up a lot of things. Don't think we spent years like pre configuring with a few minutes. I have learned a lot of my life. Yeah. Oh my God. Awesome. Um, for a while, we kind of had like gaps in like people who were responsible for writing the minutes, just a hiring issue, and then got some people who just it, it never looked like this. That's all I can say. <laughs> we got. Do you rewatch all of this while you do it? No, I don't. I don't rewatch the whole thing. No, because I have my notes, but okay. they're like. If I hear one of you <laughs> one of you say something that I don't know what it is or what you then I just put C video and then I go oh, back gosh, and see good. if I can hear what it is you're saying. Sometimes I don't know what you're saying, but yeah. I I look up what sounds like what you're saying. And if it's an architectural term, and I say that it, must be so it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't have to do it that that often. But you know the the what was it twelve rows oh, with the Yankee gutters and the oh, yeah, that was that was gutters. And until I saw that picture, I couldn't figure out the diagram that he sent. Uh, I would make a motion to approve these minutes with those two slight spelling things. I have a second. I will second. All in favor say aye. 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 Excellent. Ooh. Okay, so um, I just texted Irene. We'll give her five minutes to respond. Um, we need to schedule our July meeting. Yeah. So we can do a couple of different things. The Tuesday is the fourth. I would propose we either um, I would propose one of well, let me ask this question first. Is there anyone who is going to be unable to attend our August meeting, which is scheduled for August first? 
I don't believe so. No, no, neither. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because in the past, we have canceled our August meeting for vacations okay. and things like that. So if we wanted to push our July meeting back, like to uh, sort of mid July, yeah. and then maybe cancel August, we could do that. Yeah. Or we could do it either we could have our quote unquote July meeting on June 27th, which would be a week early, or on July 11th, which would be a week late. I would not be able to be here on July 11th, but that shouldn't be a reason not to do it because I also will not be here on July 18th. Um, so what do we, how do we feel? June 27th, I know I won't be here because I have to take my daughter to camp, but that school's over. July, I'm sorry, what was it, July 11th? Well, basically, it would be either, yeah, like, it would either be July 11th, July 18th, I think. or uh, potentially we could do July 25th and then not meet in August. Huh. August is five Wednesdays, though, and our September meeting is the day after Labor Day. Okay. I will also not be here for that. <laughs> go away. I am a sporadically busy person. So <laughs> um anyway, so those are kind of the options. So or I mean we can just keep the we can just push July back a week and keep August and keep September and yeah, I don't think what a writer uh I think it's important to mm -hmm. maintain. Yeah, well, number is the fifth, which the is fifth, the day after. Which is yeah. the fifth. Um, Should we push that one a week also? Hmm. I'll be here for school starts. So. I mean, so it's, yeah. Well, it August really theoretically would be August 1st. Right? August 1st, right. I Which I, I'm, I'm yeah, here. I'm it's just too far. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let me see my well, well, theoretically, what we can do is, um, and, and do we have any pending application? Yeah, no, I don't see. think so. And I think, as far as referrals that we have out, um, we have, uh, let me see, well. I don't know what was the timeline for 22 Parsonage. Were they coming back imminently or is that not for that? That's Martian. No, I, didn't like, I think it was very cool. We have a referral out to 11 Garden Street, 12 more still done, 15 Kemble is um, Annie, which I don't know what's happening with that project, 17 Parrot, we just finished, 173 Main, we just finished. Six balding. So those are the only referrals that we have out right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the, let's do it this way because we're talking about you know the middle of July, but uh, realistically, uh, the simplest thing and, uh, is to just cancel uh, the July meeting. Okay. And just you know pick it up August first. Okay. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. So we will not meet in July. Yeah, I think July is trickier than August. We tend to have a late agenda in August because people go away. Right. July, like I just know for myself, I've got a bunch of stuff. Like I've got one kid I'm dropping off camp and my son is going to the Boy Scout Jamboree. The big one? The big one out in the big one. Mexico? It's um that's I think film. Yeah. Well, no. uh, uh, which is a different thing. No, the National Jamboree. Oh, the National Jamboree changes every year. It, it used to. Now it's Pretty consistently in West Virginia, they have this like huge campus out in the woods. Uh, yeah, he's uh, there's three boys from our town. They're all going. Cool. Rah, rah. <laughs> yeah, so I got to drop it. Actually, he's on his 13th birthday, which is pretty nice. So yeah, I got that going on. All right, so we will cancel parts. July. So we'll put something on the uh, website that the July meeting will be canceled, yeah. and we'll meet in August, and we'll stick with the September meeting. Yeah. Um, 
which will be good because if everyone shows up at, with pitchforks at our next meeting after reading our development guidelines, we won't be here. <laughs> Jokes on them. Sorry, I'm at the beach. <laughs> um, if we, I don't know what, what what's going on with Irene, but we were only going to be meeting with her in workshop anyway. It was a work. Maybe she just right. I, I I know she's been very busy lately. She's been um, so yeah. we have yeah. this drawing. Um, do we want to? It doesn't really show. I couldn't make sense of it. I mean, so I this is so the, the um. It's like a repair thing. So basically, this is her porch from the front. Yeah. Right. She has steps that go behind. Yeah. Um, oh, they came to a long time. Yeah, so this is from an old application, but she has steps that go down this way yeah. and then up this way. This is the side of the house. It's a twin house. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So what she wants to do yeah. is, <gasps> no, she doesn't want to connect it. It sounds like they gave up on that idea. What she wants to do is um, just move. Yeah, I think you have a long yeah, I think you have two separate things. Oh, yeah. So what she wants to do is have the stairs come down the front and split, oh. which is what this drawing represents. So this is the street. Yeah. This is the driveway. Mm -hmm. She wants to have um, the a flight of stairs. Oh. Yeah, a <laughs> flight of stairs. The pictures are really, I didn't realize how low red they were when she sent them, but she wants to have um, staircase that just splits sort of uh i don't know new orleans style she said that there was another like going this way yeah. in the front yeah so it comes forward here so this so window is this window go forward and back comes forward they join and together as an intermediate landing go up to the back porch yeah it's the front porch not the back porch front yeah. porch yeah so she said that there was oh, another okay. I remember this. We we actually uh we reviewed her. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, yeah. Um she said that there was another house that did the same thing, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure who she's who she's referring to. Um uh, I can't think of what other house on her street has a split porch like that, but I mean, I think she's always calling like that, right? Yeah, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, I think in its in its concept, it's I don't. It seems maybe a little overworked, but practical. Though. But practical, yeah. and also the way that it's the way that it's designed right now, it seems strange that you can't actually that you have to go. Down the driveway and turn around and come up a flight of stairs yeah. to get onto their porch. And by doing this, right. they're preventing this long, long stoop from going like all the way down to the sidewalk. So it does it does solve that sort of design problem of um, avoiding this sort of extra long sidewalk. Yeah. Um, it doesn't. So she's doing that with both front and back. No, she. I, I think she's she's just dealing with this. In other words, that's not what was this drawing. Is, yeah, the drawing's not accurate. Is the rear this elevation sure, right? This is that's why I was confused. The okay. This is the rear elevation. So this is like oh, very like nothing is, and the front is opposite of. Wait, when is this drawing from? Unless we're including this is the back of the house. Like also the front, aren't they on? They're like okay. I thought that they're yeah they're on the left side of the house and this is showing it as being to the right. Like this whole thing is yeah. because it, it clearly says rear elevation over here. So yeah, and this it, is the rear elevation. This is the photo of the rear elevation. All right, and if you take a look at the the survey. You can see that there yeah, are stairs off the rear in. elevation. This is what she sent. New out. gable returns the 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 slash yeah. doodles too. This is the little original sketch that she sent us. That's why I thought this was the front. Yeah, no. But see, like this, I mean, this is maybe old and part of a bigger project. They were wanting to add a maybe an addition. 
Well, it looks like it looks like 2021. So yeah, they yeah I was gonna say that I wondered if something was mixed in from their previous um application. Well, this is all this is all old stuff. This yeah. whole packet. I, I'm sorry. There uh, is old stuff old. in this packet, but there's new stuff as well that she sent. It. So you said this is addition the right back. there because look, this is like the front elevation, right? The porch should be on this side. Right. And and it That's says addition right in the side. This is them. Yeah. Yeah. I but thought that this was here. I thought this was the front of the house here. No. So this is all for the rear. Okay. Yeah, it says addition in the back. So she just wants to do this design oh. for the front though? No, I know so that's the back this stuff that she's scribbled. These these doodles, but those are so a lot of blank pages on the end. Yeah, I I think we're gonna need her. Oh, I see what she wants to do. She wants to connect the roof. She wants to extend that that roof and make it a wrap around roof. Yeah, but she puts the stairs there. Yeah, and wrapping the stair on the front. Yeah. But is this how old is this? Is this? But that's not what she said she wanted to do for this. Yeah, I know. Of course, yeah, that so, would be so. Great therefore, making a wrap around covered floor. But okay. none of the drawings reflect that. Well. Yeah. So, so essentially, what you want to do going is away build out the, the, the back a little bit. Okay. okay. Um, so, so I don't see the blue here. I'm going to about this. I'm moving those copies the next time. Everything else I don't need, but I took standards. So, to me, it sounds like uh, I need a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion and, to adjourn. Oh, and please finish. note, we've got all our business done in yeah. an hour. One hour. All right. Crazy. Here for wait, us. Drop the mic. Uh, wait, who seconded? I do. All in favor say aye. 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 And Andrew votes aye. I'm sure he, sure he, he would have yelled it. I heard it. Oh, we're, 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 we're adjourned. We heard you yell you you aye in the bathroom. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, if I got up. That would be the model. Yeah, we're all right. good. We are.